What is it about the grand piano that there's sort of the class, the esteem of having a grand piano? So what is it about that grand? If we have the space, which most of us do in our larger homes now, um, and moving one chair means that we could put a grand piano in our living room. Is it that every time we see a concert, of course, it's a grand piano on the stage that your self and your children and your families will watch in concert performance, the world's greatest pianist. It's always on a grand piano. Here at Cosmo Music, in the highest part of the center of the atrium, flies a grand piano. How do you fly a grand piano? A grand piano weighs, on average, about a thousand pounds. I actually took out all the heavy parts, so the heavy metal plate, all the tuning pins, all the strings, all that got removed, all the insides of the piano. So the piano that flies high in the atrium is only about maybe 250 to 300 pounds, about a little less than the weight of an, an upright piano. So when we look at a piano, and we look at a grand piano, it has its 88 notes, but what's the mystique of that piano? What's the inspiration of that piano? Well, of course, a grand piano does play better than an upright piano. The mechanism that you strike is actually one 19-inch or 24-inch long piece of straight grain spruce that sort of forces the key down and then pushes the hammer up and gravity pulls that hammer back down. It's quite a mechanism designed over many years. But is it the shape of the piano? Uh, very recognizable. If you just saw the top lid of just a grand piano, well, you would know, oh, well, that's the piece of wood off the top of a grand. It has that sexy shape. When you see the lid up on a grand piano and sitting as you walk by a neighbor's living room and you see through the bay window that grand piano lid standing upright, then you know, well, gee, that family, they love music. They have some piano players or lots of musicians in the family who enjoy a great instrument. Typical, what they call a baby grand, is normally about five feet long. And then above there, we move to what generally all of them are called grand pianos. The bigger ones are sometimes called a semi-concert grand, around the seven, seven and a half foot range and full concert grands would be nine feet and sometimes larger. So we do carry all of those sizes and sell all of them. The beauty in a grand is you can also get it in very exotic woods, African babingas and rosewoods and walnuts and mahoganies, as well as the traditional ebony polish black and the classic black satin piano. But also new are the digital grand pianos. So they put a digital piano into maybe a smaller size body, so it doesn't take quite as much space. And of course, the newest addition to that family of grand pianos is a new piano called a hybrid piano from Yamaha. And it's really the dream piano for many piano players because the action is that of their full nine-foot concert grand C-series grand piano action. So to the piano player, it plays correctly. It sounds like a nine-foot concert grand. So way back in the late 1800s, the shape of the piano used to be much longer because the strings went straight. And now the bass strings go over top of the treble strings. That was one of Steinway's patents in the late 1800s. And that really brought about that sexy shape that we know as the grand piano, the curve on one side and the straight side on the other. Eighty-eight keys and the beautiful music, the expression to the musician out of the grand piano is why 
when we go to see that concert stage with the piano player, with the orchestra or solo, or with his jazz trio, it's always a grand piano.